that and this is going to be my February book haul. So I have a lot of books to show you guys for February. I have it separated into four different categories. The first category, which is the biggest category, is going to be the books that I acquired at my library book sale. Um, I went a little overboard, but I'm really excited to read all of these. The second category is going to be my choices for book of the month. My third category is going to be just some kind of miscellaneous um, graphic novels that I got. And then the and then the fourth category is books that I acquired from my used bookstore. So there are a lot to show you, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So for category one, like I said, it's going to be the books that I acquired at my library book sale. And I have nine of them, so I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in. I probably won't really talk about too many of them since there are quite a lot here to go through, um, but I will talk about a few. Um, so the, and these are in no particular order, they're just going to be whatever I pull off of the stack. And the first one I see here is Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers or Robin Lefevers. Um, I am attending my town's um, book festival in the first weekend in March and um, Robin's actually going to be there so I wanted to pick up a copy so that she can go ahead and sign it. This is something that's been on my TBR for a couple years since I probably started booktube. Um, I don't really know much about it. I know it follows like female assassins and that was really all I needed to know. I ended up picking this up for like three dollars that I used at the library book sale and I actually was really surprised because it's not in the library binding which is what you generally tend to find um, and it was really good condition so I'm really excited to pick this up. At my um, town's book festival Megan Shepard is also going to be there so I picked up The Mad Men's Daughter and Her Dark Curiosity which is book one and book two in the Mad Men's Daughter. I believe it's a trilogy or maybe there's four. Um, I just happened to see book one and book two and I figured I'd pick them up. This did have um, the library binding on it. I did um, be able to take it off. This one I didn't quite get the sticker off but um, these were only a dollar so I figured they were worth picking up. I don't really know much about it. I think um, the first one follows a girl whose dad is like a, um, like does experiments. And it's definitely like an older series. I actually believe this might be like more like sci-fi. Um, it says here, 16 year old Juliet has built a life for herself in London, working as a maid, attending church on Sundays, and trying not to think about the scandal that ruined her life. After all, no one ever proved the groomers about her father's gruesome experiments. But when she learns he is alive and continuing his work on a remote tropical island, she is determined to find out if these accusations are true. Accompanied by her father's handsome young assistant, Montgomery, and a castaway, Edward, both of whom she is de desperately drawn to, Juliet travels to the island, only to discover the depths of her father's madness. He has experimented on animals so that they resemble, speak, and behave as humans. And worse, one of the creatures has turned violent and is killing the island's inhabitants. Torn between horror and scientific curiosity, Juliet knows she must end her father's dangerous experiments and escape her jungle prison before it's too late. Yet as the island falls into chaos, she discovers the extent of her father's genius and madness in her own blood. Inspired by H.G. Wells' classic The Island of Dr. Moreau, The Madman's Daughter is a dark and breathless gothic thriller about the about the secrets we'll do anything to know and the truths we'll go to at any lengths to protect. This actually sounds really intriguing. I think um, I might, I don't know, Megan Shepard is going to be at the book festival so I definitely wanted to try to read these before she was going to be there but I don't think I'm going to get around to it. And I have no idea what the second book is about but I don't want spoilers um, and these are actually pretty good conditions other than um, originally having the library bindings on them. And again these were only a dollar so I figured I would pick them up and give them a read. I have also been trying, I've been wanting to read a lot more like thriller mystery novels so I picked up What She Knew by Gilly McMillan. I have no idea what this is really about. It's like a um, kind of a domestic thriller where like a, a son goes missing and the mom is like trying to find out the clues. This was like 50 cents um, and I think um, Kayla from Books and Lala read it and really enjoyed it. Uh, I've been trying to branch out it a little bit more into some like more adult um, mystery thrillers so I figured I would pick this up. Um, it says here Rachel is walking in a Bristol park with her eight-year-old son Ben when he asks if he can run ahead. It's an ordinary request on an ordinary Sunday afternoon and Rachel has no reason to worry until Ben vanishes. The police all called, search parties go out, and Rachel, already insecure about her recent divorce, feels herself coming undone. As hours and then days pass without a sign of Ben, everyone who knew him is called into question. 
from Rachel's newly married ex-husband to her mother of the year sister. Inevitably, media attention focuses on Rachel too, and the public's attitude towards her begins to shift from sympathy to suspicion. So yeah, this sounds like it could be a really interesting read. It's maybe something to read at night. Um, and again, I've been trying to read a little, I've been wanting to branch out a little bit more, so I'm excited to pick this up as well. The next book I picked up is um, Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. I have been really intrigued to read this. It basically follows Will as he descends down the elevator to basically take revenge um, on his brother's killer. And this is such an interesting concept. It takes place in verse and the entire elevator ride is, is within, within a matter of like 60 seconds or like 90 seconds. Um, it's a really interesting concept. Read it already. Didn't love as much as I wanted to, but I will be talking about this in my wrap up. Um, but I did pick this up and this was like 50 cents. I also picked up The Power by Naomi Alderman. This has been on my TBR since like before it even came out. I have been like wanting to read this so badly. Um, and this is like talked about on booktube like the year it came out. It was like crazy everywhere. Um, and I never got around to reading it. But I am really, really excited that I finally own a copy. Though I'm bummed because I cannot get the rest of this sticker off. If you know any good ways to remove the stickers, please let me know down in the comments below because I was working at it and working at it and I feel like I just cannot get it off anymore. Um, but I'm really, really excited to own this. Um, basically, if you don't know what this is about, basically it follows a kind of dystopian, kind of-ish world future where women and girls actually have um, the power to, with a flick of their fingers, kind of inflict death and harm. And I know it has a lot to do with, um, like, poli I know it has, there's a lot of, like, politics in this and a lot of um, social commentary and feminism. So I've been really, really excited to read this. And this was, I picked this up for, like, $2. I also picked up Codename Verity by Elizabeth Ween. I... Wasn't, this wasn't something that was gonna be, that was originally on my TBR, but I know a lot of people have really liked it on BookTube, and it was like a dollar, so I figured I'd pick it up. Again, this is another one where I can't quite get the stickers off, um, but I don't really know much about this. I know it follows um, Verity, who is arrested, Gestapo. Um, She's a secret agent captured in enemy territory. She's living a spy's worst nightmare. Her Nazis interrogators give her a simple choice, reveal her mission, or face a grisly execution. That was really all I needed. It's a YA World War II novel. So, um, and I know people really, really enjoy it. And again, this was like a dollar, so I um, figured I would pick it up. The second to last book that I picked up at my library book sale is You by Caroline Kapnis. I actually owned a copy of this a while ago and um, unhauled it when I was moving and I found it at the library book sale for a dollar. I've been wanting to read it, never got around to reading it. It was always such a fascinating concept to me and I really want to watch the show but I want to read this before I read the show so I'm really excited to dive into this hopefully very soon. And the book that I am so ecstatic that I found, I was getting ready to leave, getting ready to check out, and I happened to do this, and I was like, oh my god, I have to get it, and that is The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. I absolutely love this book. This is one of my favorite books of all time, um, and it's was it's such an amazing read. It took me forever to read. I think it took me like maybe, a, it took me like a month, month and a half to read it, but it's absolutely amazing. I, it's the only Donna Tart I've read. I really, really want to read The Secret History, um, but I've been wanting to own a copy of The Goldfinch forever. I got, I used to own a copy and then I unhauled it when I moved and now that I'm back, I wanted to pick it up again. Um, and I was really, really happy to find that this is not like a library binding edition. Um, this is like, almost basically a brand new edition and you guys this book um retails for thirty dollars i picked it up for three dollars i felt pretty proud of myself for finding this for three dollars and i absolutely love this book so i'm really really excited to own a copy back up to have this to have a copy back on my shelves the next section is going to be kind of the miscellaneous graphic novels that i picked up this month and the first one is going to be hellboy and the BR, BPRD 1953. I actually, actually we just picked this up the other day and I have absolutely no idea what it's about except for that it's like five short stories. Um, and the new Hellboy movie's coming out with David Harper who I love from Stranger Things. So I figured this would be a kind of good way to get introduced to Hellboy since I don't really know much too much about it. And they're like five little mini stories. So I figured this would be, um, and I, so I figured to go ahead and pick this up. 
I, we also picked up Spider Gwen Volume 1 Radio, uh, Radioactive Spider Gwen Volume 1 Greater Power. I have already read this. I didn't love it. Um, I really enjoy how Gwen, I really enjoy Gwen Stacy as Spider Gwen um, and kind of the kind of um, kick ass feminist aspect of Spider Gwen, but I just wasn't quite a fan of this. Um, I will talk about it more in my wrap up, but I did read this, didn't love it, didn't hate it. Don't know if I'm going to continue on with the series, but we picked this up this month as well. We also picked up Raven, Daughter of Darkness Volume 1 by Marv Wolfman, who is actually the original creator of Raven. Um, I haven't read this yet, but my boyfriend and I both really, really love Raven as a character. She's such an interesting character and a great member of Teen Titans. So um, I was really excited to pick this up and give this a read. I have not read it yet. Boyfriend read it, loved it, so I'm hoping that I will love it as well. And the next three books are the books that I picked up from my used book sale, uh, my used bookstore. I had a lot of credit after unhauling the crap ton of books, so I picked up a few things for this month as well. And like I mentioned earlier, Megan Shepard is going to be at my book festival, and so I ended up finding a copy of Grim Lovelies, which I know is her most recent novel. I haven't read this yet. It's been on my TBR, and I'm really, really excited to read it. This was, I think, like full price um but I had credit so this was basically free and I'm really excited to read this I love the cover and it's got that like really textured cover which I love and I'm so I'm really excited to read this and then I have a older book that I actually found that one of my boyfriend's favorite books when he read when he was younger and he really wants me to read it so we found a copy and that's called Aberrant by Clive Barker by Clive Barker this is kind of um not original but like a kind of what sparked YA uh, fantasy sci-fi to begin with and it's a really interesting concept don't know really much about it but I um, I know my boyfriend really really likes it so I figured it was worth picking up and again I had credit at my used bookstore so this was basically free um, basically it begins in the most boring place in the world chicken town USA there lives Candy Quackenbush great name by the way her heart bursting for some clue as to what her future might hold. When the answer comes, it's not one she expects. Welcome to the Aberat, a vast archipelago where every island is a different hour of the day. Candy has a place in this extraordinary land. She is here to help save the Aberat from the dark forces that are stirring at its heart, forcing older than time itself and more evil than anything Candy has ever encountered. She's a strange heroine, she knows, but this is a strange world. So I'm really excited to read this. He really enjoys it. So we picked up volume one and then they didn't have volume two, but they did have volume three, Aberat Absolute Midnight. So we picked that up as well, hoping that we can find volume two. So I picked up one and three. And I we have reached the last section, which are the book of the month choices. I will say book of the month was on point this month. I have been kind of disappointed with them lately. Um, and then they kind of did that where they added new sections and I was like, okay, book of the month, good month. So they, I said, take all of my money, give me three books. The three books that I got are books that I'm super excited to read. All of them are on my TBR. The first one is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. This is actually my February selection for book of the month. So I was so happy to see um, a like brand new YA release in February as a February choice. And I read Thug last year. I read Thug last year and absolutely amazing. I absolutely loved it. So I knew that I wanted to pick this up this month. I really wanted to read it for February, but I just never got around to it. So excited to pick this up. And then I my extra book that I got is Enchante by Gina Trelease. I am so excited to read this. I actually got an e-arc from NetGalleon and never got around to reading it. So I'm finally happy that I own a copy and this cover is absolutely gorgeous and I love that it's like the French flag um, and basically this is a YA fantasy that takes place in Paris during like Louis um, during like Marie Antoinette's time um, and this just sounds absolutely amazing. Um, Paris is a labyrinth of twisted streets filled with beggars and thieves, revolutionaries and magicians. Camille Dorbonne is one of them. She wishes she weren't. When smallpox killed her parents, 17 year old Camille or Camilla must find a way to provide for her beloved younger sister while managing their volatile brother. Relying on magic, Camille painstakingly turns scrapes turn scraps of metal into money to buy the food and medicine they need. 
But when the coins won't hold their shape and her brother disappears with the family savings, Camille pursue, or Camilla pursues a richer, more perilous scheme at the, at the glittering court of Louis and Marie Antoinette. Using dark magic forbidden by her mother, Camilla transforms herself into a baroness and is swept up into the life at the palace of, at the palace of Versailles, where aristocrats both fear and hunger for la magique. There, she gambles at cards, desperate to have enough to keep herself and her sister safe. Yet the longer she stays at court, the more difficult it becomes to recon reconcile her resentment of the nobles with the enchantments of Versailles. And, and when she returns to Paris, Camilla meets a handsome young balloonist who dares her to hope that love and liberty may both be possible. But in this world, nothing is what it seems. Magic has its cost, and when Camilla loses control of her secrets, the game she's playing turns deadly. Then revolution erupts and Camilla must choose love or loyalty, democracy or reality or magic before Paris burns. I am absolutely so intrigued to read this and I've been wanting to read it. I am so excited to finally dive into this. Um, and so I'm really happy that I picked this up this month as well. And the last book in this very large haul is the second extra book that I got from Book of the Month. And that is The Gilded Wolves, The Gilded Wolves by Barani, by Rani Chofsky. This has been floating around booktube, I know, like all year so far, and I'm so excited to read this. Again, this takes place in Paris. This takes place in like 1889. It's a YA fantasy, and I have been itching for some really good YA fantasy lately, and this is a beautiful cover, and I'm so excited to dive into this, uh, and so I'm really, really hoping to get to this very, very soon. So here is my very large February TBR. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys hauled in February if you've read any of these books. Um, what are your thoughts, comments, and opinions about them? I hope you guys had a great February. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!